Do it. My boat is going back. Yeah, yeah this is a big enough spot. If we camp. find stuff before the rock, great. If we find stuff after the rock, great. Okay. But I would like to make it past the rock when it's light outside. Hostelians, are you up for that? We're down. Okay. We're, we're, we're. <laughs> Sounds good. Crazy. We all made it past the big rock and quickly found a camp. We had just enough light to make sure we had plenty of firewood for the night and then turned our attention to making dinner as we reflected on the day's adventure. Hey, what you doing there? Video in this delicious food. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> looks like video chicken or something. I don't want to eat it. Well, it's a one, two, three, four, take the elevator. We'll tell you, but I'll be glad to see you later. All the gun inside is vacancy. drive around and get in front of them. We decided that it would be best to be nice to the Subaru and its tires and help it up the steep loose hill out of camp. Although the video doesn't show it very well, this hill was pretty steep and the Subaru would have struggled and spun some tires. So we hooked up a tow strap and good old Goose gave it a tug. Perfect. Dude, there was there's not no a way we would have made it. I was like, 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 I kept looking back, <laughs> it's been a little, and then you back off the ball. I just wanted some extra exercise yes. at that hill, because I, I, I didn't get I did my hike yesterday. That. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. That worked great. Yeah, it, it, it almost looked smoother for you guys going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. coming down. There's our camper. Right down there. Hold on, I'll go to the edge here a bit. Right there, and right here you'll be able to see it. <laughs> Avelina off to our right, and right in front of me, there's another one. You see the Avelina? Yeah. yeah. Avelina. They're not even related to pigs, they're related to a peccary. But I mean, they obviously ended up looking people? just like a pig, but they're not from the same like line. Do people hunt them then? They taste horrible and they smell horrible. Really? So people, people do, do hunt, hunt them. them yeah. And like the way to hunt them, I guess, is like with a big, big handgun. I'm putting my feet in the water. As you can tell, we didn't have much of an objective today besides making it home in time for bed. Dang job. But we tried to make the most of our way home. After that quick dip in the Salt River, we headed for food and a little bit more dirt.
This was our last little bit of dirt before the trip's end. This road is called the Apache Trail because it was first traveled by the Apaches. It was later used as a stage route, and although it is pretty touristy now, it sure is a beautiful drive. It winds along the side of three lakes and the Theodore Roosevelt Dam. It gets pretty curvy and narrow at points, but the views are worth it. In 1904, it was made into the road it is today solely for the building of the dam to get supplies and workers to the construction site. Pretty cool. I don't know what that means. Dude, this is this is crazy. As you as you said, uh, Kyle, my mom, I have an email. The first email on my email right now. She goes, just came across these. Uh, Rainbow Bridge at Lake Powell. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the same photo we took. Chris, me. <laughs> There's the sea swirl. Uh, so we are done with lunch. Done with lunch. And we're heading and home. home. We're tired. So we, yeah, we did. Uh, we had a few options today on like which way to get home, and uh, everyone was up for taking dirt, so we took dirt as much as we could. Um, some of it remote, and then some of it, you know, the crowded sort of tourist traffic, people towing boats out to these lakes that are out in this dirt road. Um, it's called the Apache Trail. Uh, so we just had a burger with everybody and say goodbye, and now everyone's heading home. So it was a really, really fun trip. A good yeah. group of people. Um, it was a blast to have Steve and Becca and Mia yeah. along. Um, so they, you know, they do all kinds of adventures and stuff, and surf trips and backpacking, all kinds of amazing stuff. But they haven't really done the off-roading thing. So we got this Subaru through stuff that I, I'd be like pulling over. To, I'd be pulling over to say like, okay, I'm gonna have to help them get through this, and then they were already through it. I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, it got awesome. through stuff that was great. Uh, we're way up on this one part of the trail, and these hikers are coming towards us, and they're like, oh, you guys got around the rock? Because there's a rock that fell on the trail. <laughs> Big boulder, you know, the size of a Volkswagen bug. Then you do have to kind of pinch around it. And they had parked their trucks down, further down the hill, and I was like, yeah, yeah, we made it, but that made it too. <laughs> so having a Subaru be with you on these uh, trails that most people were turning around on. It was very on, funny. It was great. And then the ruins were just amazing. Um, it was a scramble for sure, but... it was pretty ridiculous actually it was uh, much much tougher of a you know, loose sort of hillside scramble than I pictured so steep that you know you're near falling at all times and it's just easier to, to use your hands and your legs to kind of scramble and climb up yeah and then coming down you're on your butt yeah. sliding down most of the time and if you try to stand like I'd get tired of just yeah. scrambling down or sliding so I'd stand and try and make a few steps and then you'd slide and uh, so it was really tough and uh, everyone did really good it was, it was cool. So now this is an area that's got a bunch of Native American ruins, and so now I've seen about half of them, but there's still a bunch to see. So now every time you go out here and, and do a trip, and you see the excitement on people's faces who've never been there, and then you think to yourself, gosh, there's a couple more canyons where I haven't seen it all. It makes you want to go back, and so I know now we're contemplating how soon and when we want to get back out there yeah, and for sure. do more. Good trip. Yep. Well, it's a one, two, three, four, take the elevator. We'll tell you, but I'll be glad to see you later. All the got inside is vacancy. Hey, I was thinking.